Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Ooh, interesting. Okay, so this is like big time, big boom. A lot of information came with this, and I actually think it's oh yes, in the description of the, the video. Best whistle note. Yes. Whistle tone in, in the, the world. world. So it's very rare. And, uh, By Verni Varga. That's right. She she is known to be one of the most complicated, incredibly great singers of all time. Do you want me to read that? Yeah, go ahead. In August of August seventh of nineteen ninety three. Toyota produced the Hispanic concert for the second record. Historic to... concert, by the way. Historic. Oh, no, Hispanic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? How about, I don't fucking read this. Uh, the Wait, historic. Just read, just read the bar where she says, like, Verne Vargas vocal uh, acrobat. Verne Vargas vocal acrobatics. Okay, there you go. Coupled with her sensual, vampy movements make her not only the queen of jazz, oh. the vamp, but also the queen of showmanship as well. It's her spirit that it's really unmatched. The sexiest, most sensual jazz singer in the history of the industry. Gosh. Who is the same level as the divine diva Ziza, Ziza, Sasa, pa Sasa, Sasa Padilla. Mm -hmm. Or Padilla? Padilla. And Asia Songbird, Regine Velasquez. With that bloody introduction. I mean, what else can we say? Let's give it up. Let's watch. go. Uh, Miss Bernie Varga. Miss Bernie Varga. Gosh, what a dress. I really enjoy doing that musical skit. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, diba, no? At saka... <laughs> At this time naman po, uh, matagal ko na pong inaawit itong awiting to. Way back 19... I love and, the 90s, bro. Bring back the 90s. I love the 90s. I love the 90s. I love the 90s. I love the 90s. I've been doing this song for... for so many years. Okay. And since then, nobody has ever attempted to do this song. Whoa. Hi. And I think I consider that for the record to this kind of song. Ladies and gentlemen, take five. Take five. Okay, wow, well, alright, alright, alright. Jazz, jazz, baby, jazz. Oh. Ah, nice. This, oh, very, nice. this type of performance was very popular in South America.
Mano to suit. so bizarre and crazy she swallowed a whole zoo bro you know that's crazy that I, I always imagine you know that scene from Tarzan that the uh, you know that that scene where they go uh, oh, my brain <laughs> <laughs> you know that scene from Tarzan where they go and they're like in the scientist place mm -hmm. what is that song just dance I know you no no no, no. that's nice good musical too <laughs> yes that's the one but you know what I'm talking about you know how they, they utilize the sounds of an elephant, a monkey, yes, yes. as a bird. Well, now we can... To represent jazz, because it's essentially... Well, I don't know if that's essentially what jazz has always intended to do, but <laughs> jazz has always had the Been uniqueness... The animalistic aspect of it. Animalistic? Yeah. Ah. Savage. Free-falling. Ah. Rap. Ah. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe more it's... Um, I'm gonna try to do that crap because that was so cool. I mean, maybe just it's the best... Uh, it's the best example of carnal uh -huh, desires. Yes. Right? Yes, I So sensuality, uh, screams, uh, uh, whistles, mm -hmm. uh, uh, bashes, splashes, crashes... Uh, unpredictability. Thumps, unpredictability yeah, yeah, yeah. Changes of rhythm mm -hmm. Slow uh, Enticing movements So That it can all get all that really wild and crazy So then mm -hmm. they, You know the animal world Would be a good way to explain that So I think that's what Tarzan did But here that's kind of the I think what she's trying to do Take five It's all about you know Take time to relax and whatever And then there's like this wild, suit. carnal yeah, thing. part of things. And I think that's why she's somewhat related, at least who wrote that uh, description. It relates her <laughs> to um, this kind of, you know, yeah, sensual, uh, enticing, movement-inducing mm -hmm. song. But I, what the fuck, man, vocally, okay. what is that? <laughs> that's definitely acrobatics, that's for sure. That's... That's somebody who's not a singer, but a vocalist, like a vocal expert. But she learned to be a vocalist first before being a performer. Exactly, exactly. But it, it's a times. vocal, when, when people, I know I've, I've said this, but it's, it's, it's worth highlighting. A, a vocal artist is somebody who understands the technicalities and all the physiology of, of the voice box. The void box. I hate when people call it that, but it's <laughs> but it's the larynx basically, right? So it's the most commonly known as 
uh, the voice box. But um, why yeah, do so, you like? Why do you not like that? Because it's not. Because it's not. That's not it. It's not a box. It's 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 a cool part of your body, and it's the larynx, the whole of it. What did you say? A oh, cool part of it. The cool. It's a cool part of your body. A cool. It, yeah, it's cool. Do you have a problem with the word voice voice box? Yeah, I do. It's not cool enough. Because it's not. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't sound flashy. Oh, piss off! Go cry. Next ah, I know. I know. I'm just saying. I, I'm not. I'm just saying I don't like it. That's just personal taste, bro. Yeah. Uh, respect it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's it, <laughs> there's so much that you can obviously do, as you can see here. But when you understand the the mechanics, the bi biology behind it, then you're you're able to dis decipher like certain tricks and certain things that you can then amplify. So voice actors, like the ones that do all the modulation for movies and animations and stuff like that, they would be vocalists. Because they understand the, the what inflection does to a certain phrase, what uh, you know, the positioning of the larynx in certain in a certain place with a certain pitch with a certain inf inflection itself would Airflow create. Can do with yeah, what uh, breath control can do with uh, understanding grounding and twang and and everything else that is in between. And um, so she right there is a master of it. Interesting, a master. Of it. that we haven't. Check down more of the work. I I'm surprised. This is the first time we actually get in depth Very into fun. what into what she can do. Gosh. Um, also, it's just a really intricate piece in the fact that, in the sense of, yeah, how you could how could you sell that? You I know, like well, she certainly that, managed to. Well, because she's a performer herself. True. But if you if and if you heard it in in a record, oh, you can use the actual sounds of nature. Mm. In the record, right? So mm -hmm. even even back then, you could use it would be con uh, um, not controversial, but revolutionary um, yeah. for the time. Given that it was just an analog recordings, right? The nineties, eighties, I would imagine, maybe even yeah. earlier than that. Who knows? But yeah, it, it was it was the nineties, not the twenties. So. Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. But then again, I don't know when this piece was originally composed, True. who it was produced by, or well, he said that that stuff. Oh, take five. Yeah, the, oh, the, right. the piece the itself, piece. Not, uh, not the performance. No idea. Uh, which takes the whole thing into a brand new level of creativity and what what a performing can do because the song structure of it is actually quite straightforward. The actual singing part of it is only two sections of the song, and the rest is the the uh, I don't know the ornaments of 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 the song itself, and I think. It's really cool to hear it done by one single person. That's absolutely insane. 59. Ah, uh, well, there you go. Yeah. Revolutionary for They played it very different. Oh, yeah, definitely slower. Oh, it's just, it's just pure jazz. It's pure jazz. They yeah. changed it, made it a bit more showtime. Showbiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's, I, it's pure jazz. It's David Dubre, a Brubeck. Oh, um, cool. Yeah. I, I thought I recognized also, but then they played it so different, I didn't know. Yes. Well, I think it's a completely different take, that's for sure. Well, yeah, yeah. as you can see, given the analog technology of recording back then, we didn't have any of that. Um, nature sound nature sounds of nature included in the in the record no, it's which just is jazz, a it's take jazz, which yeah. is a take that she brought into the table right yeah, so then again interesting choice why would you try to display vocal acrobatics in that manner you could have done uh, something more uh, harmonic and still showcase all of the uh, techniques and things that she showcased in here sure i think again would it be in the you know the shock factor of it? I think no. it was because it was in the Philippines. Shock factor. No, I think people in the Philippines genuinely have a better understanding of things I when it comes to vocalization and acrobatics. It's so surreal to watch. Well, though. what happens in the and you know what happens in the nineties or eighties when this happened, and you have some of the best singers even historically up until this day performing. <laughs> That's true. You have Sharon Cuneta, you have Jaya, you have Regine Velasquez, you have Martin Cesc Hibera, Gary Valencia, Padilla, you have Padilla, Martin, yeah. you know, Gary's kicking ass at this point. Mm -hmm. You you have literally a play Oggy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You have all these people who are good sing like great singers, outstanding yeah. singers, 
So what do you do to stand out? That's not completely correct. That's completely right. correct. I mean, Jane can hit fucking exactly, and and having a register or being good at singing a power vocal is Gary not enough can dance. anymore. That's right. Martin can compose and create. Augie can compose and create. He was a bit of a pop star as well. Yeah, you know what I mean. He had like the the hot boy look back then. You know, uh, Sharon. Uh, uh, what's uh, uh, what's the name of uh, you? Love her. I, I'm having a really bad day with names. She also sings classical music. Oh, you're talking about Miss Lani Misalucci. Lani Misalucci. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So it's like everyone had a thing, and I think in the Philippines, especially in that era, they had to. They would have. They would have appreciated. You didn't have to be an acrobat to be famous, That's of course true. not. But they would have appreciated that, know, that for shows, a song or and, two. And that that shows though, because uh, in in the same concert, you already had seen perform or you are about to see perform some of these bi the biggest names in, yeah. in the industry then just a guess I'm just trying to make an educated guess on the things we've learned I think you might be correct I don't know the Let approach us know. in the approach of the show is itself right. uh, in in for sure it's a very thought-provoking performance overall it's one of those performances that you have to go back to really re break down in sections and understand uh, exactly what was happening because it was all happening so fast. Yeah. You know, in terms of physical aspects of the larynx, what the larynx was doing so quickly. So, you know, switching from one texture to the other, understanding breath control flow. And then you see even her her body movements and her language on stage was completely different to each section of the song mm -hmm. and it required different things from her in her posture in the way that she delivered the things how she handled the microphone all of these things are really worth studying uh, it, not not for the sake of trying to replicate it but to understand uh, the maximum expertise of vocal capabilities that can be shown showcased in a, in a really uh, unpredictable environment like a live performance like this very good uh, it's fantastic this is a uh, wild this is slap my ass call me john judy <laughs> call me john call me john judy <laughs> 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 type of good uh so if you did enjoy it do press the button that says slap my ass and call me judy which <laughs> is aka known as the like button oh wow yes wow yeah they call me john when i said this like one Oh we gosh, don't, we don't fuck <laughs> we don't, with that one. We don't talk about it. But anyways, that. that's what you guys thought about it, and then what you thought about it, and goodbye. Goodbye.